As the North East prepares for its live music venues to open on the 17th of May, the professionals in the industry are currently working on trying to create a safe environment for its fans and artists alike after the SSD concert scandal was brought to light last month. SR News spoke to Abby Hillier, owner of a new record label in the North East, Coat Rack Records. I, like, I can only say that I was just not surprised by it. Um, obviously felt like really angry towards them as a company and I always sort of have felt that sort of anger and upset with them because of the sort of unethical way in which they operate um but yeah again not surprising at all um and realistically a company of their magnitude has ways and means of doing so much better um and there are people like you know like who operate in the northeast as well who are doing better and our sort of perspective with coat rack was let's not be a company that does that um, what can we do to even prevent other companies from doing that? What can we do to prevent SSD from getting themselves back into the music scene? How do we go about making people aware of these issues? Um, obviously on Coat Rack's Instagram, we'll post like infographics about statistics to do with sexual harassment and assault within the music industry. Um, there's obviously a lot of support networks around the, the Northeast at the moment popping up because of these issues. Obviously you've got Forward NE, um, Coat Rack are always there offer support. Tits upon Tyne has obviously done a really good job of collating all the evidence and the, the claims made against the company. Um, there's a lot of people offering, you know, sort of legal help to come forward about these issues if you've been threatened that you can't speak up about them, because I think that has been the case with a couple of people. Um, so yeah, I think just maybe maybe talking to people and, and being aware of what support networks are available. Um, obviously learning the numbers for like sexual assault like hotlines and stuff so if that does happen to you try and speak up about it as soon as you can or as soon as you're comfortable to do so um and, and being aware that unfortunately this does happen in the industry but people are working to prevent it 